Paul from Southern Ontario with May 7th. So the anything but conservative people, the ABC people, say, well, what rights have you lost in Canada? Well, let's take a look at just some of them. The right to have news from outside of the country come up on my feeds or for anyone to send me a news link or me to send anyone a news link. There's bills C11 and 18 at work. Oh, but you can still go get it yourself. You can find it. You're not banned from it. No, not really. What about Bill C-21? I don't own any of those, but they've been criminalized. They haven't figured out how to come and get them from people who own them just yet. But they can't use them because they've been criminalized. So those folks have lost their rights. Uh, but at the same time, we decriminalized really bad drugs. So there's a lot of places people have lost the right to walk down the street and feel safe and not witness someone, well, the tragedy of the opioid crisis. Uh, I don't have the assurity that they're not going to seize or freeze my bank account. They did that once already. Remember Christia Freeland sniggering and giggling? <laughs> yes, we're seizing bank accounts. <laughs> Uh, do you remember the single mom who donated $20 to the Freedom Convoy and had her bank account frozen? Yeah, so I guess I don't have the right to assume that anything I have in the bank is safe. Oh, the right to a speedy trial. <laughs> well, we see the Coots 4 and uh, Chris Barber, Tamara Leach, and so there's quite a few others who, two years later... Still haven't had their trials completed. Well, the Coots 4 finally just did, right? Do I have the right to vote? Well, that one seems debatable. People say, oh yeah, you can vote. Late 2025. Well, maybe, maybe not. That's a long way away. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, the majority of Canadians polling shows want an election. We're not going to get one. That's the supply and confidence agreement. And should we have an election in 2025, will I have the right to assume that my vote isn't negated by electoral interference? Hmm. Do I have the right to assume my elected politicians are at least held to some degree of accountability, responsibility? Oh, pretty hard to argue that, isn't it? Uh, I mean, prior to the Trudeau government, I mean, we assumed the graft and corruption of our politicians was at least, you know, kept to a dull roar and not flaunted in our faces the way it is now. I could go on, but yeah, it's nice to have a short rant once in a while.